breaking news coming out of Arsenal, out of the blue. Sir Chips is gone. He's gone. He's retired. This came out of absolute nowhere, so I thought I'd literally just make a quick video to break the news to you guys because I'm very, very surprised because there was no... I've not personally, maybe people in the comments down below have, but I haven't heard any news about this. I know the guy was old, but um, he's only been at the club for eight, nine years. Chairman of the club, who knows? I don't know whether they're going to be replacing him. I've really seen fans saying Wenger, but that's not going to happen realistically, is it? Um, not with his role at FIFA anyway. But um, yeah, breaking news. Sir Ch so Chips has gone. No, this doesn't mean Stan's going because... Uh, <laughs> Dan's not retiring anytime soon, is he? So, and when he does, it'll go to Josh. So, I'm sorry to be a bit of bad news, but I don't think Stan's going anywhere. Um, he wasn't really, uh, Sir Chips, Keswick, wasn't really renowned that well from the fans. Although, we don't really know what he actually does, so that doesn't really help. But, uh, yeah, clearly not enough, because he wasn't really remembered that well, to be honest. Um, so yeah, so Chips is gone. That was literally the only reason why I made this video today. As well as uh, once it's official, I will make a separate video on the restart of the Premier League. There's a report coming out from the Telegraph. It's very, very reliable that it says 17th of June will be the beginning restart of the Premier League with Arsenal, of course, playing Manchester City. Where that will be, though, who knows? Because we don't know whether we're going to continue to... Whether the Premier League are going to do what the Bundesliga have done and still do at their own stadiums and this, that and the other without spectators and everything. But again, we don't really know all the details yet. But once I do know all the details, obviously, I'll make a video and update the people who do not know and also give my reaction and thoughts on it. But this is about Sir Chip Keswick. I thought I'd break this news because it's something I did not expect to make a video on today. I was very tempted to make a video about David Luiz over the last 24 hours. However, one, I haven't had Browns, I haven't really had the time to do it, as well as um, we don't know how true it is because we all thought it was a two year deal, and it turns out it was a one year deal with an extra year. Arsenal had the choice to do an extra year. So I don't know what was, what's true and what isn't, to be honest. Um, for me, David Louise, it would be a shame to see him go because under Mikel Arteta, he has been our best centre half, hands down. And um, if you're asking me out of him and Socrates, it's got to be Socrates that would be out the door. But again, this is out. This is not. Um, this is not. Uh, wouldn't be Arteta's fault because obviously we signed Louise before we signed Arteta as a manager. So yeah, maybe that's a downfall for the ball. But it is a lot of wages and the whole pandemic and everything. Who knows what's going to happen? But if Louise is out the door anytime soon, I will make a video reacting to that. It's a separate video. I'm going to wrap it up here because I'm rambling on about a subject but I'm not even talking about in the video itself. This is my reaction really to Sir Chip Keswick's retirement out of absolute nowhere. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you wish him well? Probably not. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I've been a true gunner. Thanks for watching and peace.